Look how it's gone, this bacon's gone crispy. That's how we want it. We want it nice and crunchy and crispy. We don't want any fat on it. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Nice and crunchy. Then what we're going to do is, normally you should put it on a tissue, but we've only got toilet paper and that smells of perfume. And uh, your bum might smell nice, but we don't want your bacon to smell nice, do we? So, therefore, I use a chopping board. So, basically, just put the bacon there. Just put it there and let it dry out. All you're doing, as I say, I have no tissue paper. All we're doing is letting that bacon dry, uh, dry out and we'll use later. Now for the sauce, easiest thing. Get your pan. I can't turn the hob down, so you've got to be a bit careful. And just get milk. Just get some milk, right? We're going to put milk in the pan like that. Just going to put milk in the pan like that. Now, if you have a lower ring, you'd have it on a lower ring, but I don't, so I have to take it off and on. Now what we're going to do is going to add a bit of black pepper. I didn't open the... I didn't open the fucking bottle, did I? Right, so here we are. So we're going to put a bit of black pepper into that milk. Like that. Yeah. Just a bit. And we're going to add, again, just a little bit of sea salt. Yeah. Now then, you might have wondered about the gnaw. Now you can use flour. The last time I did this was with flour. Right, flour. We're going to use it just as a bit of a thickener. I'm going to use it just as a bit of a thickener. Look, I'm just putting a little bit mushroom, leek, whatever you want. You see? See just that little bit there. Just to thicken it up. Then you need to keep stirring. Stir and stir. I've got to do off and on, off and on, because it's on full heat. So we get those lumps out of it. Let's get those lumps out of it. And you see, you look at the lumps there. Look at the lumps. Just, just squash the lumps with your spoon like that. Just squash them. Heat, off heat, heat. Just do that for about two minutes. Stop. And remember, while you're doing this, keep checking on your pasta. Yeah. Oh, nearly done. Nearly done. Keep checking on your pasta. That's it. Keep checking. Look how that's coming along. Look. Hardly any lumps, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Squash them lumps, squash that bit of flour, squash that little bit of flour. And then add just a little bit, I told you we're not using just a little bit of single cream. Just add a bit of single cream to it. Stop. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. That one came out well. Me before we watch it. Yes, you can. Of course you can. Because I'm like that. Yeah. I'm going to have mine as well.
That's why my tail loved me. We, mm. There was only one time in five restaurants that we had to do two takes. And I did it with no script. When I do this video, I'm going to send a, a message. I'm going to tag Linda Folks at the uh, uh, restaurant and say you should put this on the book menu. <laughs> and I bet you she does. I thought she only did snacks and stuff and then she did evening meals. No, she just quite, she just tapers and all sorts. Like it. I fucking adore it. Love it. The flavours just go together. Yeah, they do. Everything just like. Mm. 